We are in the heart of summer, which means it's time to go out and have some outdoor fun. Rich Bonaducci was at Deer Creek State Park. He got to learn a little bit about kiteboarding. All right, we're getting all ready, getting all safe with the jacket and the helmet and with the expertise. This is Rob Umstead, and he is with, you went to kiting.com, by the way. And this is a really cool sport, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. So luckily, you do, and you know how to teach them. <laughs> Yeah, we've been doing lessons down here since 2014. Um, I went to the park and got the permits to operate out of here and kind of an exclusive deal for you into kiting. Um, our goal is to get people to the point of being safely independent. It usually takes two or three lessons before they know all the basics on how to really be safe and get out there on their own. And then, um, you know, I've got tons of students that still come out here every day and have a great time when the wind's blowing. Hmm. So, again, at Deer Creek, you're the only authorized uh, folks to, who do this and do it properly. That's correct. Excellent. So... This is not one of those things where you're dragged behind a boat. This is something where the wind takes you. Exactly. We got, <laughs> we got the big kite over here. Um, the control bar looks like this. These lines are kind of wound up, not quite ready to go out yet, but you're hooked into what's called your chicken loop. Right. You got the bar here, and you're steering all kind of almost like the handlebars on your bike. You're flying that kite in the wind, catching the wind when, it's, when you need it, and kind of minimizing that pull when you don't. And uh, then you get up on your board, and it's like it's like wakeboarding, but you're driving the boat at the same time. Hmm. And so, depending on how new you are, you might get a smaller version of this, like a smaller board, smaller kite. Yeah, I mean the boards are kind of based on people's weight. The bigger the bigger the body, the a little more volume you want in your board. Um, kites, we go, you know, as it gets windier, we we downsize. And again, that's that's based on weight as well. But like last last Sunday, I think it blew about 35 miles an hour down here, so we were riding kites half the size of this one here. Hmm. And getting a fair amount of air, I'm sure. Yeah, a little bit. You know, <laughs> the, the guys, the guys and girls have been doing it for a while. That's fun to jump, and um, but you know, it's it's just it's a, it's a great sport. You can get out there without without having to put any gas in a boat, and you can still get on the water and have a great time. Right, sustainable recreation, as exactly. they say. So, if people want to do it, uh, how old about the weight? What what are the restrictions? Uh, we, you know, we try to get kids age starting at age 15. We don't we don't usually work with kids younger than that. Um, right through adults, I've had guys approaching 70 years old that want to get out here and learn it. And, and again, it you know it takes two or three days and a little bit of persistence. And uh, but Deer Creek's a great spot for wind. I mean, it, it's it's got to be one of the most windy, consistently windy, mountainous lakes in the world. Except for today, of course. Yeah, well, <laughs> when you know, we want to join. You plan something, it doesn't work out. But, <laughs> but the, the canyon, Provo Canyon, there really really drives wind up the canyon and we get a great southwest flow here almost every afternoon. Well I'll tell you you really want to check this out so do so at right there. You went to kiting.com.